Welcome back to Hat Yai. And in Hat Yai, there are a couple of large chains that sell food they describe as pizza, but in, in Italy, you won't be allowed to call it pizza. I'm not particularly keen on it either. But there is a little place where you can get fairly decent, authentic pizza. It's not a restaurant as such, it's just uh, someone's house and they've converted the front room into a restaurant. There's a few tables and seats. And uh, that's where we are tonight. And because it's so small, it's always a good idea to call ahead to book a table, which my wife has already done. So the owner used to work as a chef in bakeries in Phuket and Hat Yai before he decided to um, start his own business. And he's assisted by his wife. So here we are. I'll give a, a link on Google Maps. It's called Moon Pizza. If you're in Hat Yai, it's, it's um, well off the tourist trail, but if you fancy a decent pizza, it's worth searching out. So I'll go, go in and have a look at the menu. Moon Pizza, where they serve Neapolitan style pizza. They also serve some pasta dishes and other dishes. We'll look at our menu in a minute. Here's the owner and the chef. And he's got his own special pizza oven over there. They do have an English language menu, which is good if you're a tourist and you can't read Thai. So here are the pizzas, quite a good selection of pizzas. And photos of the pizzas over here. So it looks as if the prices start at around 279. And there are some more expensive ones, 359, depending on the ingredients. And the ingredients for pizza are quite expensive. So that sort of justifies the um, prices and if you want you can have half and half so on one pizza you can have you know half one style and the other half another style and you can add ingredients for some extra cost and here here are the some of the pasta dishes okay different different styles of pasta spaghetti fettuccine penne uh, you have it with pork beef Bacon sausages, carbonara. I haven't tried the pasta yet. Last week we came and we ate pizza, and I'm going to eat pizza again today. And there's some snacks French fries, potato wedges, chicken ribs, hash browns. And not too many drinks, but they do serve beer. It's a Carabao beer, which is quite unusual. Normally it's um, sing, beer Sing, beer Chung, and beer Leo. So here, this got this Carabao beer. And that's it. So um, let's wait for the food to turn up. My daughter ordered a pasta dish. And I think this is fettuccine carbonara. There's fresh bacon in there and some kind of uh, pesto sauce. My son just ordered a little snack. I'm not sure what they call these, whether they're hash browns or potato wedges, but they're some kind of deep fried potato with a sauce, which looks like a kind of Thousand Island sauce. The pizza has just arrived and they, they make their own pizza dough here and it's really good. And this is how a pizza should look. And I mentioned those chains before and um, I'm really not keen on the, the pizzas that they serve in those places. I much prefer this style of pizza. So we're going to get tucked in. I'm not sure if you can hear me because it's started to rain quite heavily. But the location is on a quiet residential street. There's a little bit of on-street parking. Fortunately, there's not much through traffic. So you, you don't get pickup trucks and motorbikes racing through. This is not the place to come if, if there's a, a big party or you want a lot of ambience and atmosphere because it's just the front room of someone's house. If you just want an authentic Italian pizza as, a, as opposed to a, a fake pizza, it's a really good place to come. And they use Grab as well. So you can even get it delivered to where you're staying. But yeah, it's a, a nice little place and uh, useful to know about.